If you look at my finished product over here, you'll see that I have this navigation menu that when I click on one of the top L one of the links over there, it's going to take you to um, one of those header tags. So uh, that's what I want to do just now. Now this up here is actually an unordered list and I know that may be a surprise since it's uh, hanging out here uh, horizontally instead of vertical like typical unordered lists do but that's just a little CSS so um, you want to use unordered lists for your navigation that's kinda like the standard way of doing things so well, let's do it. Let's create just that inside of our, uh, I guess, well, first we have to start with our HTML code. So uh, let me open up index.html and Dreamweaver over here. And, well, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm, when I'm doing this is I'm going to create a new container for it, a new div container. I guess, I guess I should be a little more careful with how I say that. I although I have an ID here called container I'm not creating another ID called container I'm just gonna create another container or div element uh, for my nav menu so let me do just that and that'll finish it and let me do oops and I'll do okay and now alright so in here I have that ready to roll let me use Dreamweaver for what it's good for creating an unordered list that'll quickly put all that stuff in there um, so let's see let me go see what elements I actually have over here just copy those let's see if I could just paste them right in there that'd be cool okay well there we go so now let me see. All right. Almost. You see, I'm just. Ah, isn't that annoying? Did that work? No, that totally messed it up. Now you know. You see what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to copy and paste this stuff into Dreamweaver in a slick way, and though visually it may look fine we see how the code doesn't actually necessarily turn out exactly the way I want it to so why don't I just paste that raw content in there and now let's see this would be sick if it just uh, stupid okay there's no tiptoeing around it I'm just gonna do it manually and I guess this is a, a interesting lesson in you know why you should know how to do the coding aspect and not uh, rely on Dreamweaver because you know um, it could just become very annoying trying to style something that isn't right like that because the you know the HTML isn't right so then your CSS is going to be wonky as well so let's see now why does hmm we have these huge spaces over here. Ah, it must be something in my CSS because my CSS document, I think, uh, uh, I put padding bottom, padding left over here. This is, this padding nonsense is affecting everything globally, so we may have to redefine what we're doing. Okay, nevertheless, uh, we may not have to worry about this because I need to define I need to get these to lie horizontally, not vertically the way they are. Now, there's a reason these things are uh, set like this, because list items, by default, are a block level item, meaning you could use paddings and margins. They don't act like, for example, the strong tag, uh, because the strong tag, as you know, we could put the strong inside of uh, any other tag and it's not going to create a new line or anything like that but once we cr use something like a paragraph it does create a line break and everything so let me show you how to deal with this uh, with this list over here and make it lie horizontal we'll go in our so we have nav menu 
and li that's what we need to target here um, let's see if we just hit this okay perfect so here we go nav menu ul li okay that'll be fine although list items are always inside the li's um, eh, whatever that's unnecessary so let me get it out and I'm not sure where it's listed over here because we've got to change the display type ah here we go inside of block we should have display and it's by default it's a block level uh, item but we're going to change it to inline so check this out hit apply and voila look what happened we didn't have to do much of anything else and defining it as inline totally changed it uh, or so we thought oh no here we go we have to save it in that main make sure it's saved in here and now when I refresh it aha pretty cool alright um, well nothing else we got the we got the unordered list to sit vertical so we're good but we have a little ways to go before we get it positioned and working like the final product